Well, when people design a cord or a rope and they want that thing to be as strong as possible, they will apply what's called the principle of the braid. Uh, a braid takes individual strands, weaves them together uh, to form a strong and a durable unit. A braid strength does not equal the sum of the strength of the two strands, but it's, it's exponentially stronger because of the weave. A braided cord does not easily break. Now when you glance at a simple braid, it appears to be made of only two strands. But actually, three strands are necessary to make the braid work, to give it durability and to keep it from unraveling. The almost imperceptible third strand is essential to its strength and durability. In the same way, God is, seen, is the unseen third strand in a marriage, and it holds a successful marriage braid together. The best marriages are those that allow God and His ways to be woven into them. Remember that the one specific call of the husband is to love his wife as Christ loved the church. And what did Christ do for the church? He died for the church. He gave himself up for her. That's the kind of love you're to have for her. It's the type of love that prompted Christ to come to earth as a man and lay down his life for us. The purpose of your love for Rochelle is that God might use you as one of the instruments to make her all that God wants her to be. This love values her, holds her in high esteem, it serves her, it provides for her, it makes her warm and tender so that she can reflect God's glory and God's image. This sacrificial love is an exercise of your choice, not your emotions. And Rochelle, you're to have the same attitude towards Martine as you have toward Jesus Christ. A constant desire to recognize and respond to his love that he's called to give to you. To support and encourage him as a spiritual leader of your family. Offer him the beauty of your inner personality, the unfading loveliness of a calm and gentle spirit that I have seen in you in the short time we've had together. A man's, <clears throat> now a man's deepest need in marriage is to be respected by the woman that he loves. Encourage him in what he does. And support him with your presence, with companionship, recognize his weaknesses and imperfections, and realize that all these are included in the man that God has given to you, and help him grow to be the man that God wants him to be. This is God's design for your marriage, and this divine design can be pulled off and accomplished with His power. so much different if this couple from that started when I was barely able to even remember them to now still being able to be together be modestly happy and being just such a great great couple to look up to. Rochelle and Martin you are two distinct individuals uh, we often value many things however Rochelle remember my theme is your love and you're building one life. Watching your love grow over the years has been nothing short of inspiring. Um, I've seen how deeply you've loved each other and how you've overcome life together. You were there for me, bro, when I needed you most, and you know that. And I just wanted to thank you for 
making me a part of your very special night, bro. Y este... Tente que era tu Un chingo. Thank you. And I couldn't be more happy. It is you. My daughter has decided to spend the rest of her life with... Martine, when you helped me fix up my front porch and you built my deck, I knew that something was up. And it was. You asked to marry my daughter. My wife and I want to thank Rochelle's family. Thank you. Uh, we didn't prepare anything, and uh, I don't want to cry. So I wish Martine and Rochelle the best. <laughs> Congratulations, you two, and I'm so honored to be here, and I love you both. I know they're they're great together. I think they're great together. I'm not pushing them to have kids, but when they do, <laughs> when they do, I know they're gonna do great. <laughs> Cheers to Rochelle and Martine. Have happy, happy years ahead of you.